back to my channel and if you're new here then welcome my name is Maddie and today I'll be watching episode 7 of season 3 of Fruits Basket. I forgot this whole coming week how intense this episode is going to be <laughs> but like that's how all the episodes are going to be from here on out so I just need to remember to prepare myself but yeah based on the previews this one is going to be a lot so I hope I do okay. I hope I'm not like an emotional wreck after this, but it's bound to happen. And so why don't we just get right into it? Even if the world doesn't need me, I decided to keep living for someone who does. Oh, I can't spend. <laughs> Even so, I get into lost their custody. cute little relationship. It was dicey. Custody. And you know, things were still kind of crazy with the move and everything. But I kept busy and bounced back pretty well. How could I not? I've got Toto on my side, after all. Oh, the best mom. But it's true. She is so darn cute. Cutest in the world. No, the universe. But Katsuya Honda, you don't want to go see him anymore? Aww. Still so young. I wonder how much time and effort it'll take for you kids to find your answers. For him, it took years. It took a long time. They haven't hurt Toru, so. That's why it <laughs> oh no. That's why my mom died. Didn't she want to tell me it was my fault? No. You too. Even your fond smile became hated. And then the same he experienced the same thing with her. This kid has seen so much death. It's not her fault. It's terrible. <laughs> Okay. You can't go outside, all right? It's better this way. There are bad things outside. You understand? Come on inside with Mom. We'll stay there forever, safely inside the house. Yeah, this is his dream, huh? Huh? That's kind of interesting where they put it. Oh, yeah. Oh. Man. That's, a, that's tough. <laughs> it's tough to watch. So, like, in case you are, like, an in anime only, which I'm sure there's some watching this, that part with, with his dream, it came af after the backstory is shown between Toru's parents. So that's why I was saying it was really interesting how they were going to, they placed it like that. But I had a kind of feeling they were going to do that. I don't know why. Just because they just are rearranging things so out of order, which it's working. So I'm not complaining. And this worked really fine. So, I, yeah. I thought they were going to go that way, and they did. So I think I'm picking up on this the way the studio is doing things at this point. Um, yeah, we're starting off really rough. Like I was saying, Kyo has witnessed death in person twice and I can't even imagine how traumatic that must be so I feel for him a lot he watched Toru's mom die and his own mom die he was present both times like that is that's horrible I, yeah I just feel for him <laughs> I would definitely be traumatized for life <laughs> he did, and he had a nightmare. Someone needs to like hug him right now. I'm totally gonna edit out what I just said because that's a spoiler. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forget. This part of the estate. Did you slip away from your servant again? Sometimes I need to venture out, find somebody interesting <laughs> to talk <too>. to. 
Well, you understand. Such a mess. Speaking of which, I hear you pressed Isuzu into your service and asked her to fetch a certain box for you. My, my. Word travels fast. If you know, I suppose the girl went and blabbed about our deal. A worthless child indeed. A bit hypocritical, don't you think? I did tell you that it was our little secret. <laughs> Is that what you said? Because to me, it sounded like you were suggesting that I go and retrieve it from her. Me? I would never. In any case, the operation failed. This is roughly more terrible. It would be much easier if you were speaking for me yourself. No. That's out of the question, I'm afraid. It would just feel blasphemous somehow. Yes, it would be. Because no one other than me has the right to touch Akira. His flesh, his blood, his soul, anything that is connected to him in any way would be sullied by someone else's hand. I hear it's another so parent's talk that. fell apart. The doctor says he's not long for this world. I don't see why they can't compromise. That's exactly why. There has to be a successor. True. No one wants outsiders to fall heir to the Soma fortune. Akira and I met well, not by chance, but because we're fated to. It was destiny. <laughs> you must be lonely. And afraid. Nobody wants to face death alone. All these people, and none of them have noticed. But I see what they don't. Because I'm different. <laughs> so let me carry oh, it all for you horrible. instead. Your sorrow, like, your fear, and your pain. Oh, no, not Every last bit, I'll take it all. I love you. No! This cannot be allowed! You're just a lowly servant! Two of us are in love. Silence! Get out of here this instant! Never set foot on this estate Rash. again! Has just always she saw been. my loneliness when no one else did. Just a jerk. She saw it. Even from this long she way. cried for me. It was bliss. We had each other, and we didn't need anybody else. I was the center of his world, and he was the center of mine. We were happy. That was enough for me. Though it didn't last. Hey, did you hear? They said Akito's going to be raised as a boy. I don't understand why, though. It's Apparently, Red decided it a while ago. Said a female heir could cause she, issues. They have a boy. I heard well, she threw a fit and refused to have a baby if she couldn't raise it as a boy. Reason. She's not Akito's number one anymore. And she can't stand it. Jealousy. That's what it is. Which is just I bizarre. don't understand why you won't ever hold Akito. She's like, why should I bother with shows of affection? The no, Brad already gets plenty from everyone else. Did not deserve Akito's a special a child who was born for She's them to not love. capable of it. It's only natural. Think about it. Remember the day we realized Akito was coming and ran up to Ren? The look on her face. You could just tell she was thinking, oh crap. Gude? <laughs> I don't get it. Rinsu, you know good, eh? Always horrified. complicated. Just all these kids so, coming up to you. Rin's a bad person. I told you you're pregnant. That's just what weird. I mean is, she should be pitied. Really, all of us should. We so must. You poor, unfortunate thing. What about you? Don't you deserve pity? You're at Akito's mercy, shackled by the curse and its so-called bonds. Face it. Whatever you think you might feel for her, it isn't actually love. But, but she very just different, caught up though. in the child's fantasy. Really, haven't you noticed? That look you have in your eyes. No. It's like he never wanted her in the first place. It was all just for revenge. <laughs> Which doesn't make any better. <laughs> but... Probably. You're quite right. Indeed, I want you to take that box. I can't think of anyone who would be more deserving. If someone's going to be haunted by Akira's ghost, let it be you and you alone. Oh. Akito doesn't need that thing. Sometimes I do Come love him, though. <laughs> For reasons like that. You. you should be thanking me. I'm the only reason that child was born in the first place. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. 
but she shouldn't have been in your care. Both you and Akito just need me so much help. <laughs> Yeah, shut her up. <laughs> you can do right by doing that. You're wrong. I'm the chosen one. And I was promised eternity. Everyone was waiting for me. Because they all need me. It's true. Father told me so himself. If you mock Father's words, then the one nobody needs is you. Go ahead. Cling to your delusions. Your pathetic fantasy of undying love. It's hard though because she's right as well. This shouldn't be how it is because it's not natural. Eventually, it will fall apart. It's like Reen has Reen. Ren has the right idea but just executes it in the worst way. She was there, sort of. Oh, this was just the beginning. Little did she know. Ah, oh, this is so interesting. Because this is where, like, the whole reason Akito let Toru into their lives. It all just comes around in a circle. Everything's coming together. <laughs> no one could sever our bonds. I believed. No. I wished. Almost prayed. And now it's like backfiring. We love to see it. Like I'd die if I didn't say it. I repeated the same words. Over and over and over. Oh man, it's about to get dramatic up in here. <laughs> so Why y'all ever let her carry a knife? What are y'all thinking? You know she's not well. <laughs> Wanted that badly? 
Mm-hmm. You'll you're gonna be so disappointed. <laughs> it's coming. And it just didn't. We all knew the truth. That I would die when I was still a young man. At least I can leave a child with her, though. Oh, that's so sad. Because she doesn't want Akito. <laughs> Honestly, I think he did love Akito more, because Ren is just psycho. He himself said he would be by your side. Now, this is for you. Always remember, Akira belongs to you. No one else can claim him. Is there something inside? It's a great treasure. Nothing is inside. Akira's soul. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> His figurative soul is in there, but basically it's nothing. <laughs> Oh, her reaction though. It's kind of like she was pissed. I was the other. This has been broken all along. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, yep, it's him. I knew that was coming. <laughs> I thought his curse was going to break in this episode. Oh my god. And he gets to hold his sister. Ugh. I don't really know how I'm feeling. <laughs> I should just be happy. But there are all these other emotions mixed in. <laughs> it's like right when, you know, the thread broke. I was like, oh yeah, I know what that means. It's Hero. <laughs> I just knew. so precious but you know unlike momiji hero isn't alone he has a family you know momiji has nothing so sad why didn't you guys stop her Yeah. She the maid kind of started all this. I gave it to Akito for comfort and solace in the wake of his dear father's death. It's merely a charm or a talisman. Anyone would know it was empty. That's just common sense. I told you. Not really. Kurino, turn the other way, please. Don't don't. <laughs> no. Uh She doesn't know any better because her, her father just kind of brainwashed her. Oh, he had the best 
best intentions. And then it just went bad. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Why didn't you abandon me? It's because he just has too much of a heart you to do so. And he was young. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh my God. It's funny. I know what's coming, and it still hits me. Okay, but he's so strong, how he's just, like, standing. Well, obviously not now. I guess, you know, like, a, a pain like that doesn't hit you until, like, a few seconds later. That's probably it. Oh. Let's call 911, or whatever number they call. Oh, poor thing. Oh, I remember this. Oh, yeah. It was like a, such a symbolic thing. What's going on? You two finished cleaning yet? We're working on it, but there's a dead bird out here. Are you just tired? Thank you. Oh, that's. Mm. Oh my God! No! <laughs> wait! 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 <laughs> no! I'm not prepared for any of this. Oh my gosh! I knew they were gonna do. I knew it. I knew they were going to leave off on a cliffhanger that ends at this part. I know it's coming. I I knew it. <laughs> oh my god, I knew I knew. I knew it. I like I need a minute. <laughs> I knew. I'm going to start crying. I I <laughs> Yep, I knew it. <laughs> I knew that was going to be the cliffhanger for this episode. I just saw it coming. Because it's like the perfect cliffhanger. Oh my god, next episode is going to kill me. I can't. <laughs> I never expected we were going to come to this part so soon. Which makes sense because they've been condensing scenes that I would have come this quick. But I've like I've been excited for this part for sure, but so nervous because I know it's just gonna be devastating. No one is gonna be prepared for that. God, I just completely lost it because I knew it was gonna I knew it was gonna end on that. Okay, let me see. I kind of already know what the next. I, I think I remember what the title for the next one is because I was informed, but. Let me see. Oh. oh, yeah. Shoot. Well, it ain't the disillusioned line. In um, the manga, the line is actually like, I'm disillusioned. Which I like, I'm disappointed better. Because for the longest time, I didn't know what disillusioned me <laughs> meant. And I'm sure a lot of people wouldn't either. So I think disappointed is, is more, it's better for others to understand. So, yeah. No one is going to be prepared for this, huh? I didn't expect it to come this quickly. <laughs> I'm not going to say what the scene is because I don't want to spoil. But it's going to be big. I'm excited but scared. <laughs> That's pretty accurate. All right, let's talk about it. So it's really coming down to the climax. It's, it's approaching. It's basically here. Like everything that has happened has been leading up to this point. So we are officially like at the climax and this is where things are going to get really, really intense and I'm going to have 
complete breakdowns. Especially next episode, it's gonna kill me. I don't know how I'm going to like be able to sit here and keep it together because I've been so nervous for that part because it's going to be so sad and hearts are going to be broken. <laughs> Both mine and the characters. So yeah, we're we're getting down to it. And Kurino got stabbed. I saw that coming, of course. <laughs> I did. But I still felt just as you no know, devastated as I did when I first read that part in the manga. It's it's hard to watch. I would never want Kurino get to get hurt because he's one of my favorite characters and he doesn't deserve it. But yeah, it's just it's just really sad. And I think Akito was right. She was just like, if you are changing your mind now, if you're thinking it's different, why did you stay with me? Because now that they've built up that further bond and he's like, I need to go, we need to change this dynamic, she's going to be devastated because she's so used to having him there with her. But now she feels absolutely betrayed. I got cut off while I was saying this because I was listening to what was going on what was happening but he was so young when he made that decision to stay with her he was like 15 so he just really didn't know any better and he felt like he was doing the right thing he felt like he was doing the thing that was kind but it really was not kind to stay with her in the grand scheme of things it just it enabled her behavior and in doing so it really harmed her but he didn't know that at the time he thought he was doing the right thing so it's not Kurino's fault and I really do hate when people blame him for staying with her and enabling that behavior because he was he was so young when he decided to stay by her side he thought he was helping her he didn't know any better and as time went on he got more accustomed to staying with her he still believed he was doing the right thing because a kind person is going to want to stay by someone's side and be there for them for support because they think that's what's going to help them, but in reality it isn't. They just can't see that. So that's just the deal with Kurino, and I don't think he deserves any criticism for enabling her because he thought he was doing the right thing. He just didn't know any better. And I think this episode further proves just how sad Akito's relationship is with her mother. The fact that just from the moment Akito was born, Ren just felt complete animosity towards her and just hated her because Akito did end up being the person most important to Akira when Ren felt she deserved to be his number one. And it's it's so creepy to be jealous of your child because your husband loves apparently loves her more than you. You should never be jealous of your child. It shouldn't be a competition. Like, you as the parent along with the father need to be taking care of this child together. And you shouldn't be making it a competition towards your husband on who he loves more. That's so weird. I hope that doesn't happen in real life, but you know, it probably can. I just, I don't think that's right. And that's something that really did traumatize Akito for sure. And then at the beginning, we had Kyo's dream, which I was saying, I had a feeling they were going to put that somewhere outside of the Katsuya and Kyoko backstory because that part is supposed to come after that backstory but it makes sense how they did it and I'm totally okay with that. I think it was a really good follow-up after last episode's cliffhanger. They needed to put something in there to reference the cliffhanger and I think that was a perfect part. And I actually did predict that that was going to be the part that opened up this episode especially because we had one shot of Kyo from the preview images that I was pretty sure was from his nightmare. So it made perfect sense and I think it was a great follow-up to the cliffhanger from last episode. And it's just incredibly sad because like I said, he has witnessed death two times and that just has to be totally traumatizing. I feel so bad for him. I would never want to be in a position where I had to watch someone die, let alone twice. It's just terrible. And so next episode will go even further into Kyo's involvement with Kyoko's death and it's going to be heartbreaking like I said and it's coming. I I didn't think it would come this soon but we're here. And I think that's it. Um, I'm looking forward to talking about this one on Instagram. I'm really looking forward to seeing what everyone has to say about it 
And it's really nice today that I have a day off. I get to watch this early and I get to upload it on the same day. I'm going to try to, but I'm pretty sure I will. Like, this, this is so nice. It's been such a great day because of that. And also, I will say, before I was thinking this season wouldn't be 13 episodes, but now that they are condensing some scenes, I can see how it can be. I thought it would be impossible, but I think it could work out. And like I have said in the past, I really am fine with this pacing. I don't have any problems with it. I know there are a lot of people who do, but in popular opinion for me, I really don't have a problem with it. Um, as a manga reader, I just don't. I think they're executing this season really well. Yeah, there have been scenes that are cut, but they're such minor scenes. I'm really happy they haven't cut any of the major scenes at all, and I don't think they're going to ever do that. So I like how they're handling this. I think it's it's going so well. So I have no problems with the pacing, and we'll just see how it goes for the rest of the season. So I'll be back next Tuesday to react to the next one. Looking forward to it, but like I said, also scared. Um, let's prepare ourselves. Anime only. Prepare yourselves for the next one. It's going to be intense. Thank you so much for watching this video, and if you liked it, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more anime-related videos and anime reactions. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram. It's basically my Fruits Basket fan page. I'll be talking about this episode more on there, so if you'd like to check it out, it'll be in the description, and I'll be back really soon. Bye!